300 has a little bit more of a flat looking finish to it versus the new uh, QXC carbon fiber. It's a little bit brighter black, um, slightly more of a, a glossy finish. It's still a matte finish, but it, when you compare it to our old stuff, you can see that there's a slight different finish. But where the real differences come in is um, in the strength and rigidity of this uh, T700 based carbon fiber. So if I take one of the older Rush 4s, I'm just going to start with a simple flex test. You can see when I just put hand pressure on the T300, you get you can get quite a bit of flex on a Rush 4, four plate. <clears throat> um, the T700, if I apply the same pressure, um, I can just feel much more rigidity to the frame. It's, it's much harder to even just do a simple flex. And what I'm going to show you next is we're going to do a little bit more scientific um, strength test on this. I'm going to put this under stress in a vise um, with a torque wrench so we can actually measure the breaking point. And you'll probably see that um, the braking, when, when the T300 breaks, you get a little bit more of a delamination, which is not good. I mean, that's basically showing that the layers of the carbon fiber are not as well bonded. Maybe they weren't pre-pegged with epoxy, um, as well as the T700. What we're looking for is a much cleaner snap at, of course, a higher um, amount of pressure. So that's what we'll see next. Okay, guys, here I am at out the vise, and I've got the new QXC carbon fiber made out of T700 fiber, and the old fiber carbon fiber made out of T300. They are both a twill weave and they are both four millimeters thick. I've set my torque wrench to 10 pounds. That's the minimum minimum it will go. So we'll see if um, the old carbon can handle uh, 10 pounds of pressure on an arm. And with this torque wrench it's a click type so you'll hear a click if it actually reaches 10 pounds of pressure so I'm gonna put this hollowed out screw across the arm right below the hole and we'll just tighten this on here to secure it Had a burr on the threads from hollowing it out. Okay, so we're on the rush arm right inside that hole. pounds let's see how far it goes it did not click and that's pretty catastrophic delaminate the original T300 carbon pretty much flexed massively flexed so let's see here 
was set to 10 pounds. So here's another look at the brake of the old T300 carbon fiber. And there is a bit of D-lamb happening there. You can see the layers just barely. It's not, it's not too bad, but on this side you can see it more. Here's another closer look at this. Um, there is, on the original carbon, the T300, there's a bit of D-LAM going on there. I don't know if you can see that. I flex it, opens up those carbon layers there, and that, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to do the same test on the QXC. Go on the same arm here. the burr on that thread. Alright, so we're in the exact same place on that hole. We did it this way. So I'm still set to 10 pounds. Okay, here it goes. We reached 10 pounds. You hear the click? Much stronger. 10 pounds, I... Um, Impressed, impressed. Let's see if we can go. I don't see any breakage. Carbon, it flexed a lot, but no breakage. So we're going to crank this sucker up. Let's go to... Okay, I'm going to go from 10 pounds. We'll go up to 12. 10. That is 12 pounds right there. Twelve pounds on a rush four inch arm QXC carbon fiber with T700 carbon fiber in it. Wow. Twelve pounds. It can take twelve pounds. Go up again. Let's try 15. We'll go up to 5. That's 15 right there. All right, 15 pounds. Okay, there was a failure. 15 pounds. We have, did have some crackage right at the bolt, it didn't crack at the root. Let me get this off of here. Okay, so there's the brake. And it's really a surface break because there's so much pressure from that screw slot. So if I flex it, it's you could still fly with that. That is that is rock solid. But we're gonna take it to full failure. So we know at 15 pounds 
it starts to break. But I want to break it all the way. So we're going to go to the opposite arm here and try the same test. So here we go. I'll show you them at the same place, right below that hole. Okay. So we're going to bring it up to that was 15 pounds. We are going to go. 16 pounds of pressure, 16 pounds of torque on this arm to see if we can get full catastrophic breakage. 16 pounds, go. Right there, and it, it gave way about the same time. All right. Look at that, you heard it crack, you heard it break. If you pull it out of there and look at it, you can't even barely even see the breakage. Let's see if I can get a better background, get a better image on this. So it was right below here. You don't see any D-LAM. That is definitely stronger. The other um, T300 carbon, it, I couldn't even get it to 10 pounds. It pretty much flexed and then broke. It was a clean break with a lo lot more D-LAM in there. So, thanks for watching, guys.